Yes, sir. Great rest of the out here right now. Shade 45. It's another grind set. And look, we're going to take a trip out to the Windy City. Shout out to everybody out there at the crib. Salute to my brother, Common. He just dropped a new project, A Beautiful Revolution Part 2. Make sure you go ahead and get that. But it's all about this gentleman that I've been hearing a hell of a lot about. And I love his name because I like Ferraris, too. He spells it a little bit different, you know, for law purposes. But you got to give as familiar with this cat right here. Ferrari Yanni, what's up, man? Yo, what's going on? How y'all feeling, man? Pleasure to be here. Yo, I'm glad that you made it too like first of all, i want to apologize for the parking situation that we have here in the city I, I know a lot of people don't always take it seriously but there's no way to fucking park it's in crazy, new york bro. it's it's the wildest thing and you come from like a big city so it's not like the buildings they really shock you or anything right. but the parking situation is nuts out here right now yeah, it's similar to up north but like even me asking like are you finna pull out? We catch people finna pull out. They don't mm -hmm. even understand what I'm saying. So, like... Mm -hmm. you know they look saying? at you like, what the fuck you talking about? Right. Why are you even talking to me, man? <laughs> Yo, I'm just trying to park, fam. But talking about the city you're from, Chicago, South Side, right? Yes, sir. Now, let's let's be very clear about this because sometimes I get it mixed up. I've seen you in videos with White Sox hats, mm -hmm. right? That's representing the South Side. Mm -hmm. Can you wear Cubs hats? Yeah, I actually like the Cubs better than the Sox. Okay, I just, I just wanted to make sure about that right there. I have these conversations with my cousins. They're over by Stony Ave. Shout out to Yara and Stan. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, and Sean. And they always say the total opposite. I can't never wear the others. I was like, I, I guess I kind of understand the same. I'm a Yankee fan. I don't think uh, maybe I might wear a Mets hat if I got the right colors right, on. Right. Maybe. But it's all about this music. Shout out to everybody that love baseball. It's all about the music that you have out right now. You've been grinding, man. And actually, we got a exclusive because we'll be playing your new song, Too Long, for the first time nationwide. So yes, appreciate sir. you delivering that for us, man. Appreciate you, guys. How has the journey been so far for you? As an artist, it's been a difficult journey for me, you know. How so? I feel like, you know, once I first started this or when I... Uh, ran right, right into my manager and we locked in. I was actually going through a heartbreak. So I was really not confident in myself. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the person I spent six years with. You know what, I'm saying? what I do now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting back out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Finding some type of pleasure with myself. You know, just being great. Feeling like I'm great. I was having a hard time doing that. So shout out to all the, you know, my management and all the guys that's been around me. You know, just coaching me and molding me into being self-confident again you know what i'm saying being the man i'm turning over to be again you know i appreciate it because we don't get to have a lot of conversations where people are so transparent mm -hmm. about you know the confidence of being in this game this is a this is a tough game right here music is very competitive whether yeah. people want to say it or not or let you know up front like yo i'm bust your ass on this chart right here yeah. <laughs> it's very competitive you 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 you're fighting for people's ears yeah. for their attention to be able to hear your music what how would you describe your music let's start with that because i know there's a lot of people out there they i get to introduce them to a lot of new music all the time mm -hmm. but um i always like to have the artist describe their music to them versus me being able to say oh, it's like this it's like that all right so in the earlier stages of my career you know i was actually just saying how i felt mentally you know what i'm saying emotionally so there's a lot of feelings i gave out in the earlier i haven't dropped my album yet but once my album does drop you'll get a um a ear for mm -hmm. The transition from me being, you know, in my feelings or depression in my mind. I, I state I stated a lot of that in my music, you know, when I wrote songs. But lately I just been turned. Like I've been feeling good, confident. Mm -hmm. I've been dancing around, having drinks, having models, having my friends out. So mm -hmm. it's a transition from I would say pain felt, you know, emotional music to fun music. You no know, vibes and you know turn with something that you could dance to get up have a drink with your friends come to the club mm -hmm. come see ferrariani i say that is the perfect definition of doing me right yeah. there let's go ahead and get into this new joint man of course ferrariani's in the building go ahead and hit him up i want you to give him that real-time feedback hit him up at f-a-r-r-a-r-i-y-a-n-n-i -R -R -N -N of course you could tag me on that as well at great rizzy at shape 45 let's yes. get it Great Rizzy, we out here on Shade 45. It's another grind set. We out here in uh, Chicago. Let's be clear about that. Midwest stand-up. Shout-out to my guy, Andrew Barber, who you can hear right here on Shade 45 weekly. But um, Ferrari Yanni, let me ask you about influences, bro. Because you have a lot. Um, of course, there's a lot of music that's coming out of the Midwest. But right now, music is just not even regional. It's just global, bro. Like, you could get inspiration from WizKid all the way halfway around the world. Right, right. What about you? Where, where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, I would say 
I'm a soul fool. I like, I, like I said once, I listen to soul food, dusty albums, dusty music. So that just kind of gave me the idea of saying how I felt because I also have a hard time, you know, just stating how I feel to people, you know what I'm saying, based off past experience and traumatic situations in my life. But that gave me the idea that maybe music is a way for me to open up or say how I feel, you know what I'm saying, confidently and peacefully without fearing negative feedback or judgment. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I would say listening to that, I listen to how they open up, especially love, the the, the blues, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. those grown men. Basically pouring their heart out, you know what I'm saying, on albums and records, saying how they felt. I felt like that was that was a way for me to escape the reality of being bottled up, especially in Chicago. Like even then, growing up with my 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 family members, you know the male aspect, or is we looked upon as be tough or strong, so we don't really break down or get a chance to explain how we feeling or just be not feeling it, but you know sensitive. So doing so. I just I feel like it gave me the inspiration and you know confidence or influence if you would to go into that try that mm -hmm. and then uh, speeding along process younger you know just with my friends and stuff we freestyling you know we do a little smoking then put an extra instrumental on then I just start saying stuff that was catchy and everybody like man you cold bro mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying so that gave me a big push too like. Maybe I am cold. Maybe I'm decent yeah, enough. They keep to on go saying ahead. it. I must be. Yeah, so I'm going on. Right. right. And so that that uh, pretty much like clears up a lot for me because I'm like, yo, homie is real melodic mm -hmm. with his music. I'm wondering where this is coming from. Is it you know from the sound that's just out there right now? But when you talk about like the Delphonics and like some of these older mm -hmm. Blue Note, all this stuff, them cats be begging something serious. Like, please, baby, baby, please do yeah. not leave me. And this is Bad. the reason why. Yeah. Right. And I then, have no problem. And the other part of it that was uh, that's always that was very impressive to me about that type of music mm -hmm. is not is they didn't only say it. They went ahead and displayed that on the stage, mm -hmm. night in, night out. Like you left that fucking show believing yeah. exactly what they said, man. Made it feel hard I can tell you this right now, though, Ferrari Yanni, I ain't playing that shit. I, I want, I want to <laughs> play some music that you want the listeners to listen to outside of your music. What That's are you listening it. to in the car? Shout um, out to all OGs out there too, man. Definitely. Um, when I get a chance, I just listen to what's relevant. You know what I'm saying? Not relevant, but what, what's been played what's been you know because that's what catches to us with what's they, now what's current repeatedly you know Copy. what i'm saying so a few artists just to name a few uh Lil baby and dre they just dropped the album together so you know i had to check out voice of the heroes mm -hmm. um polo g and not just in the chicago artists you know uh kanye west just dropped another chicago artist but also drake certified lover boy i got a chance to check that out so um typically those and then once again when I get in my feelings or when I get a time to myself no friends around just me riding mm -hmm. I listen to also I want to say Brent Fias uh, who else it's this guy some red corn some red corn you probably red know corn. about Alone is, it's a song called Alone it got a Hank Hill theme on the mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. so you get a chance to listen to nah, you just put me on or something yeah, it's nice you know, yeah. what I'm you know about that joint sir Sir. Oh, sir. that's Sir. Okay. John Real, yep. Copy, that's copy. A nice, that's a nice track she, right she there. Drew know all that shit right mm -hmm. now. I didn't know what that right was. On, you know, he, he Shout out to Drew, man. Yeah. Keep Drew away from your ladies out there. Yeah. Drew, he, he the type to woo him right there. Yeah, For right real. There. Um, this is what we going to do. We're going to keep it in the crib, man. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let's play something with Little Dirk and Drake. Laugh now, cry later. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to be right back. Ferrari Yanni is up here. Let him know you listening, man. Hit him up on the gram at Ferrari Yanni. Hit us up at Shape45 at Great Rizzy. Don't go anywhere. It's a grind set. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Ski, it's Great Rizzy. We out here on Hip Hop Nation. Here is the question. This is a very serious question for Ferrari Yanni. Yeah. New York Slices or Chicago Pans pizza what, what, what who got the better pizza keep it real to do not lie about this man don't lie right it's not pizza it's not y'all have whole meals i ate your pizza before man this shit is a whole meal god am i lying well i can't ask the other shit i can't ask you you from chicago but it's a whole meal have you had a new york slice yet since you've been here you know what i haven't and we were just talking about that like i just mentioned that giordano's to me is the best pizza in chicago it is right very hearty so I just had an opportunity to get a slice of pizza mm -hmm. 
Right on what we on Broadway, I think. I gotta take you to the right place, though. Man, and I was like, you know what? I don't know, man. I, ain't nobody introduced me to the pizza out here. Yeah. So me just going into a pizza place mm. and just getting some pizza, I might be like, man, hell no, Chicago got mm. it, bro. You know mm. what I'm saying? So mm. I was gonna let somebody introduce I don't, me. To I don't know. Can you can you really identify with pizza as a slice if you gotta use a fork and a knife? Cause this is what you gotta do in Chicago. Right? It's like it's more like lasagna out there. I'm pissing somebody off in a truck or a car right now. They may mad they want to call in right <laughs> now, y'all. But I'm just saying, Gio, they got it. I was when I was out in um uh, and I'm I'm mad that I'm just meeting you right now because I was out there not too long ago for Lollapalooza. Mm. Of course we hit up that spot. We hit up a couple of spots and stuff. But we you're right, you have to be introduced to the right New York slice. Right. Otherwise it's like you're eating a piece of loose leaf with some uh marinara sauce on it. It's just crazy. like if you come to Chicago, if I don't introduce you to Gijanos. Somebody might introduce you to Little Caesars. But don't get me wrong, Little Caesars, I ate sometimes. That little fat out of holler, but, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. Well, shit, depending on how my pocket's feeling, you know, that <laughs> shit might be right all the right. time, God. <laughs> Look, uh, something that I, I did mention a little bit early when we first started is that you have uh, blessed us with being the first people to go ahead and play this nationwide, your new joint, Too Long. Yes, sir. And there's a video that's dropping later on this evening. Yes, sir. Right? Fourth. So you got to make sure that you go ahead and um, tap in with that probably uh, 6, 7 o'clock. I don't know where you're at in the country right now, but listen out for that. Look out for that. But talk to me about this song, Too Long, man. It got it got a particular bounce to it, melodic, everything about it. Right. What's up with this song? So, like... How'd it come about? I would just... I would just recommend it, like, you know what, kind of dig deep, you know what I'm saying? Let them know something about you, you know, we trying to go all out with this video. So, when I got a chance, instead of, you know, going in the studio, punching in and out, or freestyle, and I got a chance to write something down that I felt, you know what I'm saying, kind of depict me a little bit, mm-hmm. you know? So, of course, I've been grinding and trying to, you know, make a way, make some sound, make a life for myself in the Chicago scene, so... I feel like it's been a long time coming. And then with the progress we've been making, I feel like shit, it's about time. You know what I'm saying? So when I put the song together, I kind of gave them a brief description of how it used to be as far as my my troubled, my troubled youth and you know, being locked up and spending time in the county, having robberies, or all, the, all the, you know, the reckless stuff I was doing. Mm-hmm. My life has changed for the better. So I don't even think about, you know what I'm saying, as far as going out, I need something to do. I don't have any money or however it may be. I'm not even thinking the same way. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time coming since I even even hung out with people like that. You mm-hmm. know, of course I still got family members that just do them but on their own time. But at my presence around me, we strictly bosses, we strictly business, you know what I'm saying? We got the opportunity to change our lives, you know what I'm saying? It's been a long time coming. So with that being said, I felt like just the name of the song too long, that that was that was a perfect fit. So I got a chance to talk about, like I said, my past experience, you know what I'm saying, as far as, once again, love and the delinquent stuff I was doing as a youth and just a turnover. I basically gave them a brief description of that and a turnover of how it's been going for me. You know, it's refreshing that you're sharing mm-hmm. about this. Like, hip-hop is one of those uh, those genres of music where it's like you always got to be on top. Mm-hmm. You know, you always got to be on, 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 on. And a lot of times you don't get the chance to have people peel back the layers unless... There's been a certain particular type of run that they have, and then they feel like, all right, let me show you. It ain't all fucking peaches right. and cream. So it's a it's refreshing to hear somebody who is a new artist mm-hmm. display that. That's number one. Number two, Appreciate I think that it. Chicago has such a light on it right now. Especially, and obviously, you have like Kanye West, the commons of the world, mm-hmm. right? But you have a lot of new young artists who are coming up who are really breaking through. Shout out to Lil Dirk. Shout out to Herbo. You know, um, shout out to my guys, man. Heavy Steppers. You yeah. know, they're finding their way right I now. They're doing it. Um, and I saw that you just recently had a show with those guys, man. But I just want to commend you, man, for being authentic and being transparent. It's not it, easy man. to do, but I think a lot more people relate that way versus the always on Instagram effect. Like, mm-hmm. it's not... You can't sustain that type of shit. Right. I think when you're real with your music, in my personal opinion, my honest opinion, I think more people relate to it. And I see that a lot of people are most likely going to tap into yeah. what Ferrari, Ferrari Yanni got to offer. Yeah, and that's my idea. Like, you know, just give them me. You know, you got people who don't like you and who do like you. So we're going to focus on who do like me. You know what I'm saying? For me. Because mm-hmm. I feel like I wouldn't be me if I go out of my character to try to make you like me. You know what I'm saying? So I just give you me. Right. And then... That'll make my fan base, my audience, and the people who support me, it'll be a more genuine, you know what I'm saying, outcome, I believe. So 
Hey, look, man. There's this lady in my church. She ain't like me since I was six, bro. <laughs> I, I don't even waste my time on that. I put your energy into people who are messing with you. Right. Maybe she'll like one song out of ten. I don't know, but hopefully that'll be the case for you. But I really appreciate you stopping through, bro, sharing this with us and allowing us to go ahead and be the first to play this nationwide, man. Too long. It's uh the song is out there right now. The video. Make sure you look out for that Friday evening. We'll be able to go ahead and partake in all that. You could go ahead and look at it on your phone. Looking at it at home Just make sure you're looking at it And running it up Running it up Running it up Go ahead and let them know Everything Promote 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 Instagram Twitter Website Whatever you have bro yes, I want them sir. to tap in You can find me on all Social media platforms At Ferrari Ferrari with an A F-A-R-R-A-R-I Y-A-N-N-I Once again on all Social media platforms Be sure to subscribe To my YouTube And all my music platforms As well At Ferrari And let's rock out I got more to come Make sure Appreciate you tap you in with them ASAP, man. And look, if you just happen to get in your car because your ass is late for some reason, I don't know why you're always late, listen to the full interview with the Sirius XM map. Just download this app right here to your iPhone, to your Android. You can look at it or listen to it on a home connected device, Amazon Alexa, Apple TV, however you stream music. Just look up his name, Ferrari Yanni, with an A, not an E. My name, Gray Rizzy, Shape 45. Listen to it on your time, but you go to listen to this new joint right here. World, world, world premiere, too long. Let's get it. Shot Town, salute. Let's get it. Great Rizzy, best believe. We out here, whoa.